Yo, what's up? It's DNA for sure. And this video is on how to improve your mind, body, soul, and emotional state with nature in ways that are free. The first one is probably the most dangerous one. It is the most dangerous one. For the first 30 minutes that the sun is rising, it does not give off any ultraviolet rays. So, what that means is you can stare directly into the sun for the first 30 minutes of its ascension. If you have a place where you can actually see the sun coming, rising above the horizon, if you can look at it for the first 30 minutes, even if you don't feel safe with that, you can get some expensive ass sunglasses that protect your eyes from UV rays. But that actually is a great way to intake the sun's light, which is the most, one of the most important free energies that you can get as a human being. That's why when you go to jail and certain institutions, they cut you off from all sunlight. They don't have any windows. They have very small windows or they don't have any windows at all. Second is drink lots and lots of water. I recommend you're supposed to drink two cups of water within the first 30 minutes of when you wake up. When you wake up. Another tip that I wasn't planning on putting there, putting in this is when you eat a lot of people when you go to restaurants they serve you the salad first which is incorrect you're supposed to eat green vegetables about 10 minutes after you finish the rest of your food pyramid it's called the food circle now i believe or the, the food plate your starches your meats and your poultry and all of that you're supposed to eat your salad last because what green foods do is they they clean your system so if you eat all the to well not toxins hopefully you eat healthy but if you eat all of the other stuff first it's more susceptible to clogging and doing things to your system that are more unhealthy but eating green vegetables right after helps next i wasn't going to put this either if you're a bodybuilder or if you're someone who works out hard if you're trying to build muscle if you work out very intensely to the point where you feel like you know not to the point where you're going to die of course because you're going to associate pain with um, heavy workouts but if you eat carbs and sugar um, that doesn't turn into fat it goes directly to your muscles because your muscles are made of protein sugar and water so if you eat carbs and sugar right after a very he heavy workout and you're trying to build muscle that'll turn that'll go directly to your muscles the next tip is a little heavy it's going to take a couple minutes to explain your body naturally produces and you have to do some research on this your own your body naturally produces positive ions which are bad for you. They're bad for your physical and your emotion. When you feel angry and you don't direct it in a positive way, if you feel depressed, your body produces positive ions, which are detrimental to you. And there's two ways to get rid of these, two free ways to get rid of these, or three. One way is to eat vegetables vegetables green earth the earth naturally everything that comes from earth naturally produces negative ions which are good negative ions are good for you positive ions are bad negative ions are good if you eat vegetables fresh organic vegetables that helps to produce negative ions in your body and if you 
if you come in direct contact with the earth, if you go to the park or go sit in your backyard and make physical contact with things like rocks or, you know, putting your feet in the grass. If you put your feet in the grass, I was told an hour a day, which is unrealistic for a lot of people, especially people that live in the inner city and don't have access to big patches of grass and fields to sit in that will decrease your positive ions substantially an hour a day which is a long time me I try to sit in the grass for at least 10 minutes a day physical contact another way that you can do this which is impractical for a lot of people um, if you get pyramids, obelisk pyramids, the geometrical shape, which is, this is spiritual and scientific at the same time, geometrical shape of certain pyramid, of all pyramids, they produce, they produce negative ions. So if you come in contact with earth or pyramids, it will substantially draw out your positive ions and convert them to negative ions and you definitely need to do the research on that even the whole negative the earth producing negative ions the next thing that you should do is this is not free but you should get plants in your house the most easy i would believe i would I would think to get is a ficus, but there's 13 plants, there's a lot more than that, that purify your air, that filter your air. The breathing, your breathing air is very important, of course, <laughs> but you just taking time to take a walk and learn breathing techniques, learn yogic breaths, Y-O-G-I-C breaths, which means Breathing into your stomach, breathing into your diaphragm, expanding your stomach as you inhale and compressing your stomach as you exhale. Slowly filling the bottom of your lungs to the top. A lot of people breathe with their chest, which is the incorrect way. That's not the natural way that the body was meant to breathe. And after about two weeks, even knowing this, after about two weeks of doing this, it's going to be subconscious. You're going to do it automatically. One thing I can say is this is dangerous. Let's say if you're in a room full of cigarette smoke or, you know, there's a, you have a child and your, your kid just pissed on the couch and it smells like piss and piss is just circulating in your air. Cigarette smoke. You're not supposed to breathe in piss, cigarette smoke, toxins into your stomach, into your diaphragm because that will cause nerve damage but learn yogic breaths and get clean breathable air the next one is there's a theory that the humans evolved the earlier humans evolved because they were introduced to the element fire and the more cooked that your food is the less work that your body has to do to break down the nutrients and to get rid of the of the toxins and the things that it doesn't need. It's easier on your digest your gi digestive system. Unless you're a, on a raw food diet that doesn't pertain to you. But there's a theory that the human the early humans evolved into the earlier homo sapiens and continue to evolve because they were introduced to cooking their food. Their body had to do less work, which means their stomachs got smaller. Their gallbladder got smaller, which is the, the 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 organ that broke down raw foods. That got smaller. And in turn, their brains got bigger. Their brains didn't have to work as hard to break down their foods. That's just a theory. But it makes total sense. And when that happened, you know, they had room to connect with the rest of the universe and their communication got better technology was improved um 
you know, eating burned foods, there are nutrients that you can destroy by burning your food. So I don't, I'm not recommending that. But that is, those are facts attached to a theory, attached to some facts, attached to some theories. Um, I, and the next, the last thing to do is to meditate. And I invite you to do your own research. Meditation <clears throat> is all around positive. There's times where you need to take breaks, maybe for a week or weeks at a time. If you get too heavy and lose your balance, you know, everything can be considered a meditation. If you turn off all stimulus and just write, working out, it's called a moving meditation, yoga, moving meditations, conscious meditations, void meditations, moving meditations. So do all of these and I can guarantee you, if you do the correct research and do these things right, your life will be substantially influenced in a positive way and you will live a much more healthy and better life. It's DNA for sure. Peace.